the first one is Rita of Casilla. So this is about um, believing in the unforeseen uh, or maybe this is where you don't believe in miracles and all of a sudden they start happening for you. Um, this is really allowing you to sort of channel the kind of energy of possibilities, meaning just those things that you never believed in and maybe you didn't believe in miracles something like this okay this is a change this is that sense of becoming harmonized and having faith so maybe you're being called into believing something seeing <clears throat> something different with and, and um like a different perspective excuse me and then you have um the my bago so this is really that kind of feeling of loving yourself loving others coming together as far as unity um this is also paying attention to the things that you're devoted to what are those things that um you you sort of surround yourself in uh because if you surround yourself in darkness or negativity or um just unhealthy kind of thinking you attract that so it's very much about you know maybe believing in that thing that you just don't think would be possible uh, but really believing in it and having spirituality also. Um, this is a warrior card. So in that sense of standing up for truth and freedom and that sense of coming together with like-minded people, okay? Um, and then I want to take this one because I do feel like this one. Um, the white wolf, buffalo woman. So calf woman. Sorry, guys. Um, this is really that kind of uh, card about it, it's a, it's about self love, uh, being true to yourself, um, also not fearing that there's not going to be enough, in that sense of maybe you're lacking abundance, and you know abundance is different for every person, and and there's just this big window of uh, or this big umbrella under abundance, but it's almost like what they're trying to tell you is. Maybe, you know, if you're lacking something, I don't know, is that love? Is that money? Is that a home? Is that health? Whatever that is for you, maybe start thinking different about it and be very careful about your surrounding and, and really speaking the truth and being, um, I feel like positive energy, guys, okay? Um, and then let's do this one right here. Um, so the Lady of the Lotus Born, um, this is about being happy and that's what i felt with the very first one it takes you into that place of maybe not being happy but perhaps maybe tuning into yourself to create that happiness and when this happens um it definitely gives you that sense of clarity and that sense of like being a warrior and standing up for yourself knowing that you're going to have some sort of abundance with the white buffalo cal cal calf woman okay um this is really um, an, an enlightenment period for you in that sense of being maybe driven in a different way, seeing through the dark and seeing light, you know, that kind of thing. Um, at the top of the deck, you have the high priestess. Um, so this is about knowing your soul. This is about self-recognition. Uh, what are the things that you're manifesting? Uh, be honest with yourself. Um, also give yourself that power and patience to manifest things um this is also that card of oneness uh being connected in that sense of your your happiness okay and the bottom of the deck which is the underlying energy of the reading is lala and this is about um everything that you say as far as prayer it will come to okay um, but I think you have to have to have some kind of belief in this, uh, especially with the very first card, the Rita of Cassia. Um, this is believing in yourself. And it's very much law of attraction, guys. What you put out there, what you say as far as ver verbiage and speech, it will come back to you. Um, so maybe you're learning this. Maybe this is that new kind of um, way that you're evolving. Okay. And so this is really where you are going to write your own story. This is what you, you're calling the shots here. Do you stay in that place of uncomfortness? Uncomfortness, that's not a word. Uncomfortability or confined? Or do you express yourself and sort of 
create a new life for you because this is where we're at right now we're at this pivotal time in our life and if you don't see it around the world i don't know what to tell you but this is that time where you have to go in you have to seek people that are like-minded you have to be warriors and really stand up for what's going on in the world and i feel like that is what they're trying to tell you today so take it as it resonates for you i will go a little deeper to see what these mean for you guys so welcome please like share and subscribe I have a um I, I always appreciate you guys being here and uh thank you so much guys for the beautiful uh messages you left me yesterday thank you so much always i appreciate you guys um so what is the rita of Cassia, please rita of Cassia, um the moon so see there might be fear maybe you're having fear of change or maybe not um not believing in and what can be for you as far as miracles and making things happen it's all what you're you put your effort into it as far as your mind it's it's that mind effort that you put into things whether you believe or you don't whether you carry fear or maybe uh disillusion or not seeing things clearly you got the two of swords so is there a choice here there's definitely a choice for you to make. Um, maybe you feel as if you're in the middle of the road and you don't know which way to go. Uh, this this is really telling you, follow your intuition. You're not going to make the wrong choice. If you if if you think you made the wrong choice as you're going, you know, into that that decision in your midway and you decide, oh my God, that's not for me, then you can make a left or a right turn. You don't have to stay. You know, it's like. What I see is that we're not precise in that sense of our, our things that we're devoted for. Sometimes they're not, um, they're not till infinity. We're able to change is what they're trying to tell you. Okay. Um, so, but what is this two of swords? What's the choice? It's, it's almost something that you've been really thinking about is what I feel. You got the two of pentacles, either this is weighing um, on you as far as too many things going on, too many jobs, maybe one or two maybe two people maybe two different groups um just things that are making you go up and down and see again it's a two and a two there's a choice to make but maybe you're scared of it maybe you're not seeing that you know you can have faith within yourself to create things uh you got the hangman the six of cups and the ten of pentacles so wow um is this your person or is this your energy that i'm reading in that sense of um are you in a separation with somebody do you do you want to go towards the right but yet you're so stuck on the left you know um i think there's a choice here especially with the six of cups there is this soul kind of feeling that is sort of uh, pushing you to go towards the six of cups is this a person is this a place um is this where you just sort of become happy again or you become balanced within yourself um, so you got to take it as it resonates for you. But I see the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Ten of Pentacles is not a card of being alone. It's about having your family. It's about having success. It's about having your home and your pets and your just everything that you truly want. So are you caught up in maybe um, a, a very maybe confusing kind of situation right now with the moon? You know, and you're d trying to decide to go to maybe something simpler or something more... Uh, more happy or just maybe even a kindred spirit from the past okay maybe this is you needing to do this or maybe it's your person that needs to do this okay um what is the moon please what is the moon what is the moon what is the moon here what is that moon okay so um you got the judgment in reverse something you're not letting go of you're not letting go of it um, due to fear. Um, I do feel like um, that's where you're at. You're, you're just, it's sort of like you, your soul knows where it wants to go, but the 3D part of you, it, it stays in not believing. Um, maybe this is where whoever this is, it's, it, you're doubting. You're, at, you're doubting your actions. If you go forward, will you get that miracle of happiness and balance and success and everything that you probably wish for? Okay, that's where you're hung up here with the hangman. Well, this is that time to really be enlightened and really figure out which way you're going to go um, so that you don't stay stagnant in the same pattern over and over. Okay, um, I, 
I do feel the judgment in in reverse. It's almost as if maybe are you reject are you rejecting spirituality in that sense of if you're in a twin flame um if you're in a twin flame connection uh, you know maybe you don't believe in it or you just maybe have lost hope uh something like that there's this sense of loneliness um uh, maybe stuck in the past with the judgment in reverse um regret self-doubt maybe you're being this inner critic um i definitely do feel if that's divine femme or divine masculine this is where spirit and God and the Holy Spirit and wh whoever it is that you believe in that is a positive force um, is trying to sort of influence you and tell you it's okay. Um, but there's disbelief there. And like I said, loneliness, maybe you feel like you don't deserve it or this is not um, like you're not good enough or something like that. Okay, um, let's see. What is the my bago? My bago. And this is about being that warrior and standing up and fighting for what it is that your soul is sort of trying to make make you go towards so you got the six of swords and that is a card of coming out of um, maybe betrayal uh, maybe that sense of not doing anything like procrastination um this is also um where once you take that leap of faith you are protected you have that 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 uh what I see is that angel wing covering you and sort of pushing you towards the future and not really regretting and staying in the past. The past being loneliness, regret, doubtful, fearful, all that kind of thing. So this is a major shift, I feel. Um, and so this is that time for you to stand up and be that warrior. And so, like I said in the beginning with that card, it could be the influence that you're keeping yourself in. Is that a negative relationship, a negative job, maybe negative family members? Maybe maybe it's just that negativity that's going on in the world, okay? Um, six of Swords, please. Six of Swords. Um, six of Swords. Okay, so you have... Um, the six of wands see you got the two six look at that guys two sixes you had the two twos uh which is choosing balance and then you got the six of cups the six of swords and the six of wands so this is really spirit telling you you have the capability to be in harmony to be happy you know if it's with somebody from your past make a stand and and go towards that person maybe you're fearful because you've done something bad to them or you you maybe feel like there's no forgiveness there maybe this is you needing to forgive yourself for doing things when you when you were younger when you were immature when maybe you weren't as awake as you are now if, if that makes any sense to you okay what is the six of wands there is victory and success here um, you got the world, yes, the world, and the Nine of Pentacles, see? So there's new cycle that is trying to start for you, and it is successful. I feel like you just sort of have to take that plunge to go forward with it, okay? Whatever that is for you. Um, harmony and peace is trying to come in for you guys, but before that harmony and peace comes in, it's almost like this sort of friction, this sort of volcano has to erupt. It has to go the course and then you can have that new beginning okay if that makes sense for you um let's see here uh i want to know what is the world what is the world here what is the world it's almost like you turned your back from something that was very pleasing very easy with the 666 here the six of cups six of swords six of wands there was something there and you sort of just let it run through your fingers it, was it because there was too much immaturity or too much self-doubt that you didn't go forward with it in the past that's just what i'm feeling because you got the knight of pentacles so see this is somebody who's realizing it, it, it who's realizing it and perhaps taking a leap into this new feeling or this new level of learning things you know um maybe this is a gift coming into you in the form of a message um this is also where you can just start over if it's you if you're having some kind of conflict with self-doubt and hanging on to fear this is where you can start over take the lessons learn and move forward okay the page of pentacles please page of pentacles you got the star you got the star the ten of wands the queen of swords the nine of cups and the ten of cups so um this is definitely that feeling with the star and the page of pentacles 
uh, maybe learning um, in that sense of having believe in miracles, having believe in spirit or God, whatever that might be for you. But that allows you to let go of the, the baggage, the stuff from the past, the things that have been lingering on you, the things that just sort of weigh your chest down and you just sort of feel like you can't breathe because there's so much pressure, um, pressure to, to maybe maintain some kind of society um, stature or something like that, you know, uh, maybe doing things that are Ob, uh, for obligation for other people not so much yourself um this is where the queen of swords this is the clarity that is given with the queen of swords is this the person um that perhaps may, made you realize this or is this your own intuition coming to life letting you know that it's time to take charge with some kind of truth or clarity because you got the nine of cups and the ten of cups um you are going to get your wish fulfillment as far as this happiness um, and like I said, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, those are not cards of being alone and being isolated and lonely. This is happy. This is where you're content with everything. And you will get that wish, okay? But you have to really stand up for it, okay? What is the Queen of Swords? What is the Queen of Swords, please? I think you have to speak your truth in that sense, okay? Um, for whatever this is, the Eight of Pentacles. So whoever this is... Uh, perhaps maybe you're still you're still trying to attain this you're still working at it okay um and i think it comes to that level of how you think just like i said it's law of attraction so it's it's how much how much are you paying attention to your thoughts and and what you're speaking because words are magic they have a tendency to come true whether they're negative things that you say or they're positive things that you say okay um what is the white buffalo cali woman the white buffalo cali woman okay so you have the justice see this is where there's going to be healing coming to you with the white cali woman um in that sense of things balancing out for you um going towards your true path this is karma um so if you created a lot of of good karma for yourself you're going to be okay um if you haven't created good karma for you this is that time to perhaps create good karma for you how do you do that helping others um coming becoming connected with others speaking the truth um listening to the things that uh, are coming up for you as far as your intuition and, and the that kind of knowledge that we're born with that's sort of coming alive right now okay um and quickly i feel so then you have um you have the magician in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse so there's something that you've been rejecting maybe you don't feel that you're worthy maybe you feel like you've done too much bad things or you can't be forgiven okay um this is really where you have to choose what it is that you want do you want that peace and balance or do you stay sort of discombobulated and not quite taking that leap to perhaps start over some start over with something um, is it, it takes me back to the societal thing, meaning, are you, are you, are you keeping yourself in something because of what others think is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, with the magician in reverse, there could be manipulation. There could be sorcery. There could be abuse of power. There is destruction and there is incompetence. It does not, does that not sound like what is going on in the world? I mean, is that what that is guys? I mean, you have to take it as it resonates. Are you keeping yourself in that kind of a situation? If it is relationship, if it is, um, you know, if it is love or family, it does affect you. What's going on in the world affects you. Okay. Um, so is this your choice not to move because you got the ace of cups in reverse? Um, see, there's opportunity with the ace of cups upright. There's opportunity there. But in reverse, there's almost that feeling of you're not taking that leap of faith. Is it because um, you don't have faith? And this is really where they're trying to wake you up into having that faith. Um, there's something repressed here with the Ace of Cups in reverse, meaning you're not taking that action with your emotions. There's blocked creativity. There's that sense of feeling emotionally drained. Okay. Um, but see, the justice is telling you it's a choice. You can change it. And if you start believing in it, that is where you're going to have that karmic 
balance so i feel there's a lot of healing that needs to be going on here in that sense of getting um yourself to where you believe that you're good enough just what i said in the beginning you know um get out of loneliness get out of regret um you know forgive people forgive yourself that is this this card is about healing okay um, and the sacrifices that are needed to get to that healing point, meaning the things that you got to let go as far as sacrifices and maybe, um, you know, sort of letting go of that ego. OK, what is um, the lady of the Lotus born lady of the Lotus born? So the six of pentacles, the five of cups and the king of wands. So, OK, so there's some sort of energy that is needed here with king of wands. Is this that hope and that spark that maybe now you're taking initiative? This is a masculine card. We do have the Queen of Swords here where, is, where it is the feminine. Um, is there a truth here that this, this King of Wands is having? Um, in that sense of, of taking charge and stepping up. This is a rebirth is what I feel here with the King of Wands. And we're clarifying the Lotus Born um, card. So is this a rebirth? Is this somebody from your past or that you're involved with that is initially going to take charge okay um because there is that six of pentacles in that sense of uh having balance and um having reciprocity giving and taking and having a fair kind of uh, situation um and see i feel like this king of wands has really had this this time of maybe a lot of regret a lot of loneliness a lot of um, unhealthiness you know so perhaps this person is healing from this whether this is you or them okay um let's see here this one sort of fell out on my lap so the page of wands um maybe communication coming in for you what is the king of wands what is the king of wands please king of wands king of wands so you have the ace of pentacles and the king of swords see seeing things clearly you got two masculine cards which is this is really the masculine evolving and taking charge um maybe this is in that sense of taking authority um really taking the lessons learned okay being logical not so much drained um not being drained by the past and insecurity or um doubt you know this is where they're starting to grow again this is a rebirth of your masculine or you okay Whatever that might be for you. 